so make sure that you've got a drink or you've had a drink. Uh, make sure that you've uh, maybe got a towel or something um, in case you need to uh, use that to make yourself a bit more comfortable when you come to the floor. Uh, apart from that, you need a mat, or well, you can do it without a mat, but um, I would probably recommend a mat and give you a bit of grip. Uh, so we're going to concentrate on uh, starting with a warm up and um, I'll just be giving you some coaching points as we do that and then we'll be going on to some strengthening and stretching exercises combining that throughout the practice for 45 minutes and you've just got to listen to your body and see how that feels. We'll start with a little twist. All right, so just working into the torso. So working into those muscles all around the center of the body through the core. So everything attached to the pelvis. So just breathe, relax those arms, maybe stretch them out a little bit further and you can put it through the feet. So you get a bit more range into both the hips and into the middle spine. Okay, make sure you're breathing. Throughout, I want you to engage through your core muscles, so pelvic floor muscles and deep abdominals. And then we're going to then transition into a bigger sweep up. And then around and then down. So full spine articulation here. So you want to take an in-breath at the top, and exhale, sweeping around, have the feet as wide as feels good for you, soften the knees as much as you like. Try to go all the way around, down, side, up. When you get to the top, let's change direction. Yeah, so we're sweeping around, working your way through your spine, breathing. Let's relax, keep the hands on the shoulders. And then last time, and then come back to the top, hopefully not too dizzy. So shoulders, take those round, up, back and round. Just loosen them off, take the hands on top of the shoulders and circle those round. And breathe. Nice and long through the neck. And then stretch the arms out and have the thumbs facing up and back. And then exhale, bring the hands forwards and inhale, draw the hands back. So just open up through the chest and the shoulders. Keep your belly drawn in. Try not to flare up through your rib cage or arch up through your spine whilst you're doing this. Okay. Just open up chest and shoulders there. And then release and take your feet out and turn your toes out, okay? So take it into a, just a squat there. So a wide leg squat, so you start to work into the hips. So you want your knees in line with your toes. And as we go down, let's reach down. And as we come up, let's reach up. Curl down, inhale up. Curl down on the out breath. Inhale as you reach up. So open up through the chest and the shoulders. Deep as you like into this wide leg squat. Keep your abs pulled in. And last one. And release, hands to hips, tuck the toes, stretch the arms out again, open the chest, take a twist, now take a reach, come up and inhale, twist, and exhale, reach. So you're trying to reach as far as you can on that out breath, legs as straight as feels good for you, standing sore, okay? So your back hand's gonna ro rotate in, bringing the shoulder in towards the spine. As you exhale, you come up and you twist on the in breath, and you exhale and reach down. So trying to get as much rotation through that middle spine. And then we work into that stretch through the back of the body. And the 
plus one and release. Okay, so if you just stand with your feet hip distance on the mat, all right, and then just take the arms out and then come back. So we're going to go into a squat here. All right, so we come back, draw the shoulders back, we reach out, then you squat, feet hip distance or wider. Yeah, keep your chest lifted, keep your belly drawn in. You can also add a calf raise as you come up, you can come up onto your toes. Okay. So just getting that heat going so that we can start to get a little bit more range. Talking about heat, I'm going to turn that radiator down. Breathe. Abs pulled in, chest lifted. And then coming up. And take your right leg back. Okay, so from here, the right leg back, not really. So, foot, back foot on the floor, hips are square, reach the arms up. And exhale, just curl down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, just curl down. Inhale, reach up. Pull the belly in and curl down. Feeling that stretch into the back and into the back of the thigh. Legs as straight as you can. Okay, to see how that feels for you. Soften any way you need. In breath up, exhale down. And then the next time we come down, let's bend that front knee. Take the hands to the floor. Pivot the back foot so the heel is up. Shuffle that back foot away a little bit, maybe, and feel that stretch. And then you've got your left leg forward, so take your left hand up and twist. And breathe, push the floor away. Opening up on that side. From here, coming up. Now, keep the front foot, so it's your left foot stretched out, toe out, and then the back foot with the heel in, all right? And then just have the hands on the hips, okay? Keep the hips offset, facing forwards, reach the arms out. Take a big stretch down. This is over the left leg. Get that hand down the leg and reach to the hand up. So we're taking it into, in yoga, we call this Krikonasana. It's a triangular stretch or triangular posture. Okay, try not to stick your hips out to the back. Open up that wingspan. Breathe. Come up. And then we're going to turn around. So let's set yourself up with the right leg forward. Step the left foot out so that you've got a, the width is about a hip distance. Your back foot's round about 45 degrees so that you're squared on and you're reaching up on the in breath. And exhale, coming down. In breath up. Exhale down. So what's it like on this side? Keep the belly strong, drawn in. In breath, reach up, lift the chest. Exhale, come down. So all these big moves are helping to build heat in the body, which makes it easier for us to then get a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more stretch, a little bit more being a little bit more pliable in those connective tissues. Exhale down, inhale up. Next time we come down, let's bend that front knee. Now take your left hand to the floor and bring the back heel up. Okay, now if it's not comfortable with that back heel up for whatever reason, you could take your knee to the floor, okay? So we've got left hand uh, in line with right foot. So that means right hand is going to go up and we rotate and breathe. Push the floor away, stretch the back leg away, open up. And then coming up, keep that right foot as it is. Tuck the left foot in. So roughly you've got the heels in line. Hands on hips, hips offset, reach the, arm, reach the arms out. Stretch down and reach up. So open up that wingspan. Breathe. Stretch. And then come up and tuck the toes in. Remember to have a rest at any point you need. So the toes are in, the heels are out, the belly's strong, okay? Just take the hands and impress, as you press the hands away, send the hips back, pull the abdominals in, okay? And try to hold this position for a moment, breath or two, breathe. 
And then slowly take the hands down the legs and tuck the head in now and shift the weight a little bit forwards on the feet and feel that stretch into the back of the body. And then from there, you're going to take the weight over to one side and then to the other. I would bring your hands up your thighs and rest them on your thighs now, yeah? Lift your chest and go side to side. Pull the abdominals in. Breathe. So feeling a little bit more work into the inner thighs. Keep breathing. And then we're going to hold it one side. And we're just going to reach an arm out. Just hold that position. The other arm can rest on your thigh. And then change. Rest one arm, reach out with the other. Hold that position. Let's do that again. Reach. Just check your alignment. Knees, feet, abs pulled in. Reach your way. Change. And reach. And then from here, come back to the center again. Tuck the head in. Breathe. Take your right hand to the floor. So soften the knees where you need. Right hand to the floor, directly underneath the forehead. Take the left hand up and open up. Breathe. Change. Reach up. And open up on the other side. Bring your hands down. And roll yourself up. Okay. So let's have the right leg forward and the left leg back. Okay. So doing quite a lot of work into the hips, into the thighs, basically legs at the moment. Back heels off the floor. So get yourself balanced there. We're going to take it into a, a lunge, but just standing. Okay. So take the hands to the hips initially, then drop the hands down. And as we take the back knee down towards the floor, we're reaching up. Only go as deep into that as feels okay for you. Front knee, not pushing over the toe. So reach up as we go down, come back on the end. Keep breathing, keep the body upright so you're not leaning forward. If you're not liking those, that hand action, this hands on hips is fine. Back knee down towards the floor. And last one. And then changing legs. As always, I'm going to show you that on the same leg. Okay. You change legs as long as that feels okay for you. Again, get that alignment so that your feet are hip distance in width, your back heels up and off the floor. And what we're going to do, put the hands down, and as we bring the bend at the knees, both knees, reach the arms up. So feel that work into thighs and glutes. Find a point to focus on for your balance. Breathe. Bring that back knee down. Reaching up. What's that front knee's not pushing over your toe as you come down into your lunge. You push up off of your foot and off of your front foot, so both feet. And let's do one more of those. And then release. Give legs a little shake out. Okay, so if you can find a chair or a sofa or something, or else you can do this on the mat, we're going to do some dips. Yeah? So for triceps and chest muscles, shoulder muscles. All right? So take your hips, keep those close to make whatever you use and make sure that it's going to be safe. So come down, bending and press. So hips are close. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out to press. So if you want this to be harder, you could take one leg out, you could lift it up. You could keep changing that leg, keep the hips close, or you can have both legs out. And then you get a little bit more range, a little bit more loading. Keep the belly drawn in. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out to press. 
five, four, three, two, one. And up we come. All right, grab a drink where you need it. We're gonna to come to the back of your mat now. Hope you can see me all right beyond the, uh, the star. All right, so we're gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna start with a roll down. So in Pilates, working sequentially through the spine, the chin comes to the chest, roll down through the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, the middle spine. Try not to let your hips stick out, pull your abdominals deep. Roll it down, just the way you can. And once you're down there, you're either resting hands on the floor, the feet, the legs, and you start bending the knees. So we're gonna bend one knee, stretch out through the other leg. So just feeling a little bit of work into the hips there and into that lower back. Breathe, hands where it feels good for you. Bend the right leg, straighten the left leg. Take the left hand up and open up and breathe. You're going to swap, you're going to bend your left leg, straighten your right and open up and breathe. You're going to bring those hands down, keep the knees soft and place the hands on the thighs and lift the chest and look up, pulling the abdominals in and then tuck your tailbone under, scoop your belly around your back and take it into a standing cat stretch. Sending the tailbone away, look up, arch the spine, inhale. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, scoop your belly around your back, open your shoulders, tuck your chin. And again, inhale. And again, tuck into your cap. And then roll all the way up. And now reach your arms up. Take a big stretch, maybe even rise onto toes. Stretch it up. Come down through your heels, bring your chin to your chest. Don't stick your hips out as you roll over now. Breathe. And now walk your hands out to the front of the mat. And then come to a high heel downward facing dog. So hips are high, belly strong, legs as straight as you can. Pedal those heels up and down as you push the floor away. Breathe. Any time it's feeling too much through the shoulders or for whatever reason, maybe shoulders or wrists are injured or there's stuff going on for you, come down. You can do this on your elbows. You can do the same thing on your elbows, yeah. And then when you've had enough, you can also have a breather. Okay, so on a high heel down dog, bring the heels down and stretch back. Again, as I said, you can do this on your forearms. You can also do this uh, into child's posture. So from here, keeping the hands as they are, we're going to take it into a high plank. So shift the weight, draw the belly in, push the floor away, draw the abs in. So we can also do this with the knee down where you need, or both knees down where you need. Up to you. Breathe. From here, we're going to take your right leg and we're going to reach it out to the side. Okay, so you're taking it underneath and out to the side. Yeah? And breathing. We're going to take the Left hand up and breathe. We're going to come back into down dog. Again, remember knees can come down or be on your forearms or stretch back child's posture. So the more you do this down dog, the more restful it becomes. You get more stretch opening up the shoulders, lengthening the spine. Come back to high plank. Push the floor away, draw the abdominals deep. Maybe that's enough, maybe knees down, rest when you need. Left leg out to the side. If you can, take the right hand up. And we get quite a bit of work there, rotating through the spine, loading the shoulder, working into the hips. Come back, push back down, dog. Come down to your knees. Stretch your back into child's posture. Take some breath. Shuffle the hands a little bit wider on the mat or further than the width of the mat. From here, draw the abdominals in, shift the weight now forwards, take the head beyond the hands and have the shoulders in line with the hands. We're gonna come down to a press up and push back and then come down to child's posture. So we come forwards again, 
Take it in breath as you go down, only as deep as feels good. Push up on the out breath, come back. Now, if you want this to be a stronger, more challenging, It'll work, tuck your toes under, you're in an iron dog position, you then come to a full press up, and then you come back to this iron dog. Okay, so up to you. We're going to get a few repetitions here to work on chest, shoulders, backs of the arms. Make sure you've got good form, the head's well beyond the hands. You take the chest down as deep as feels good for you, pull your belly in. Obviously, you're going to be able to push back up again. Yeah, breathe. Good form, long in the neck, abs pulled in. Remember to come down to knees, do that in child's posture. When you go back, give me one more of those. Come down to child's posture if you're not there already and stretch back. Whilst you're in that child's posture, sending hips through to heel, stretching fingertips away from heels, Walk your hands round to the right hand side and then stretch down through the left side of your spine. Breathe. And then walk round to the left and stretch down through the right side of your spine. Breathe. Okay, we're going to take the weight onto your forearms now. Okay, and we're going to send the feet back. We're going to draw the abdominals in. All right, and then from here, you're going to try and stay up off of your knees. If you're not liking that, bring your knees down and hold it. So if the knees are up, I want you just to tap the knees down, one at a time, keeping the pelvis really steady. If your knees are down, just stretch the leg away, okay? So send the heels back, straightening out through that one leg and then the other. Abs pulled in, body stays nice and steady. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and that breath should be going to ribs. So it's a lateral thoracic breath throughout. And then hold it. Come down. Take a stretch back. You could do down dog if you want a little bit more work. Breathe in there. And then if you can come back to hands under shoulders and knees underneath your hips, draw the abdominals in, keep everything nice and steady. So we're gonna work with the right leg to just do a bit of a hip opening, a uh, bit of work, okay? So just to mobilize the hips. So try to keep the rest of the body as still as you can. So we're gonna take this right leg, I'm gonna stretch it back. Then we're gonna lift the, lift the knee up to the side and then sweep around. So we just do a, this circling, motion with the right leg, keeping the body still, breathe, awareness of not leaning over too much on that left side, breathe. So imagine you've got a tray of glasses on your back and you're trying to keep that still whilst you're doing this action, so you have an engaged core. Then we're going to change direction with that knee, with that leg. Try to get as full range as you can. Really opening up into the hips. Maybe don't worry too much about the tray of glassy. Last one. Take the knees a little wider. Stretch back. Open the hips. And breathe. Okay, let's do the other side. So we'll bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Draw the belly in, spread the fingers wide. Stretch the left leg long, and then up, round and back. Breathe in at the center, exhale away. Abs pulled in, try and maintain that stillness in the body as we take it through this range, taking the Leg through this range, mobilizing into the hip joint. Breathe all the way. We're going to change direction. So trying to get that full range of movement with as much stability as we can by engaging core muscles, deep abdominals, pelvic floor. And then release once again, knees wide or child posture. 
I mean, all thine dog breed. So we're going to come up to a high kneeling position. All right. Make sure your knees are comfortable here. We're going to step the right leg forward, send the left knee away. Yeah. So if you need something underneath that left knee, do that. Okay. So we should feel feeling the stretch here into the hip flexors on the back leg. Reach the arms up. Reach them up. Lift the chest. Sit down at the same time, open up the chest, breathe. Then from here, take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and twist to your right. Breathe. Both hands to that front knee. Take your left hand down opposite your right foot, okay? And just press against the inside of this right knee with your um, right hand. So you're rolling out with that right foot onto the edge of the foot to open the hips again. Breathe. Bring that foot back to flat. And if you can, kick your left foot up and see if you can reach for it. Don't worry if that's not happening. Let's forget that one. And now we're going to straighten out through your right leg, push the heel away, draw the toes towards, track the hands down the leg, and feel that stretch into your spine and into the back of the knee, so hamstring. Hands to the floor if you can make it. And then from here, so we bring the foot back underneath the knee, and we're going to take it into pigeon posture stretch, okay? Now, if you know you don't like that stretch for your knees or whatever, then it's going to be figure of four. So if we're doing pigeon, we take the right foot to the outside of the left side of your mat, place the hands on the floor, drop the right knee down towards the right hand and stretch the left leg away, and sink it down into the hips. Otherwise, lie on your back and bring your left foot up to your uh, right thigh. So fold forwards in your pigeon, if that feels okay. Stretching. Remember, if you really don't like that, you're gonna lie back, yeah. Then we're doing this figure of four stretch here, okay. Trying to work our way into the hips. Come back and see if we can go into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, pull the belly, breathe. Lengthen out through the spine. So I want you to come to a high plank again, okay? Bring the feet close together. All right, see if we can hold that position. Now step your right foot out to the side and see if we can hold that position. Now see if you can do a press up from here. You could take your left knee to the floor here, otherwise press up, push, come back, step the other foot out, abs stay strong, down into press up, come back, leg goes out, push, Remember, you can take the one knee down to the floor. So as we step out, the knee can come down into your press up. Abs stay nice and strong. Pelvic floor engaged. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Taking that foot out as wide as you can. So we get that stretch in our thighs. Last one. And come down to knees. Take a stretch back, child's posture. So quite a lot of loading this morning into shoulders, backs of the arms, chest muscles. Breathe. Come up to high kneeling. Okay, so we're going to step your left leg forward. Send the right knee away. Make sure that back knee is comfortable, yeah? Breathe. If it feels okay, both hands coming up. Otherwise, keep the hands on the thigh. Lift the chest. Stretch, lift. Deeper stretch, sinking down into the hips. Now, take the right hand to the outside of the left leg. Twist to your left. So rotate round. Breathe. Come back with the hands on the thigh. 
place the right hand down on the floor. Take the left hand to the inside of the left knee and just push against that knee and the knee pushing into the hand, roll the foot out. So again, hips, breathe. Bring the foot back and then that challenge, if you want, kick the foot up and reach with your left hand. That will give you a deeper stretch into the hip flexor and into the quadriceps front of your thigh. Release that and straighten out through your front leg. So push the heels away, leg as straight as you can, and stretch down. Hamstring stretch, back, uh, lower back stretch as well, and to the floor if you can make it, and breathe. Stay with your breath. Now, we bring that foot back underneath the knee, and this is where we take it into pigeon posture. So we step the foot to the right side of the mat, hands come down, drop the knee down towards the left hand, stretch the right leg away. Maybe you can lie on your back, bringing your left foot to your right thigh up to the crease of the hip, if you want to do figure of four. So the more flexible you are, the further forward you'll get your foot towards your right hand, okay? Listen to your knees, stretch your right foot away, either ball of the foot or top of the foot. Stretch down, square the hips, breathe. If that feels okay, maybe if you're not liking it, just, just you know, reduce it a little bit, modify it a bit for you. But what we're trying to do is focus on this opening up of the hips. And breathe. We're gonna come back and we're gonna push up to down dog or child's posture. Take some breath, breathe. So from here, either staying up and down dog and taking one leg up and then giving me a tuck to the center and a tuck to the outside and a tuck to the inside and then changing, or we can come down to knees, okay? And we can reach and tuck and reach and tuck until I tell you to change, okay? So we're changing legs. So to the center, if we're in down dog, to the outside of one elbow, and then the outside of the other elbow. Keep going. Otherwise we're doing this on the knees. Come back. And stretch your back. Child's posture, take some breath. Come down onto your front. Pull the abdominals in, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and draw the elbows tight in towards the ribs. Send the toes away, keep the thighs strong and lift the nose and the chin and then the chest. And just coming up to where it feels good for you. Okay, only as far as feels good for you. Don't think about straightening up through the arms, thinking about sending the breastbone forwards and the hips forwards come down, breathe. And again, nose, chin, chest, Everything switched on through your center. So you can get a little bit more range. Come down. This time, lift the hands up, lift the head up, then place the hands down and then come up. And so you can get a bit more range there and breathe. And again, lift the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, thighs are on, lift the head, hands down, lift. Into that back bend there and then release. Stretch the arms out to the side. Turn the head to the right. Keep those hands down, lift the right leg up. Take that right leg over your left leg and so that you're rolling on the hip, so you're on your left side of your hip. Try to get this right foot all the way down and over towards the floor on the left side. I can't do it because I've got the wall in the way, the radiator. So we're changing sides. Turn the head to the left, lift the left leg up, sweep it over, and then see if you can get your foot down, keeping the hands down. Turn the head again, lift that right leg, sweep up and over, breathe, and then switch, lift, and sweep over. And release. And then come back to the front with the arms outstretched. Now turn the head, so the head is going to hover off the floor. The feet hover off the floor and the arms hover off the floor if we can. 
breathe. We're going to exhale and bring the hands all the way forwards if we can, and inhale all the way back. Exhale forwards, inhale back. Exhale forwards, longer the neck. Inhale back. Exhale forwards. So don't strain the neck. So exhale forwards, pull the belly in. Sweep the arms back, try to keep those feet lifted. Next time we bring the arms back, can you interlace your fingers and stretch down, opening the chest, stretching the toes, breathe. And then release, hands come under the shoulders and push yourself back into child's posture. Take some breath there and just roll around onto your back and bring your heels in. Okay, so your heels in towards your sit bones, feet parallel, hip distance apart, hands on the floor. Draw the abdominals deep in. On the in breath, arch your spine. On the out breath, imprint. So we're doing a pelvic tilt and then we're going to peel your spine up and off the floor and lift the hips. So lift the hips, squeeze through the inner thighs, bring the arms up and over the head, but try not to flare up through your rib cage as you're doing this. And then just bring those arms down, but keep the hips up if you can. In breath. And exhale down. And in breath. Keep the thighs strong, hips lifted. Try to stay steady in the spine, in the ribs. In breath up and over, pull the belly in. And last one. And bring those hips down. And hug the knees in. And imprint your spine and curl your head up towards your knees. Stretch your left leg long, drawing your right knee in as tight as you can, as if you're trying to draw your right knee towards your ear. Stretch your left leg long, take an in-breath, change legs and hold, pull it in, pull it in and then change. So this is a single leg stretch in our Pilates. So we're curled up and we're stretching. If your neck's not liking it, you can take hands behind the head or head to the floor and tap out to the knees, yeah? So sharp out breath as you reach away, in as you change. Breathe. Body stays really still. And then hug the knees in. Take the head back and side to side with the head. Breathe. So curl the head up again towards the knees. This time take the hands behind the head and lift the legs up as straight as you can. So if that's too much of the legs straight, bend the knees, okay? So what we're gonna do here, either with the legs bent or the legs straight, is we're gonna lower one leg, not all the way, come back, lower the other. Okay. Arms pulled in. So if your legs are straight, try to send the heel down so the thighs are on, bring your toes back. If we've got a slight bend at the knees, then take the toe down. And come back, yeah. Keep curled up a little bit more every time so you're keeping that tension on through those deep abs. Breathe. In breath down. If you want more work, both legs down. Toes up. Yeah. Double leg raise. Keep breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. And then release and hug those knees in. And circle your knees out and round. Take some breath. Changing direction. Take your arms out to the side and take your knees to the right. Now look to your left. Try to keep the arms down and breathe. Come back to the center, take the knees to the left and look to the right, trying to keep the hands, the shoulders, the elbows down. And breathe. Come back, 
from here, place the feet on the floor, and then bend the elbows. So the elbows, uh, we've got that 90 degree angle at the elbow there, and then we're going to stretch away with the arms a little bit to open the chest. Okay, we've done a lot of work on the chest and shoulders. So let's bring the knees in again. No, let's keep the left foot on the floor, sorry, and take the right leg and just place the right thigh over the left thigh. Lift the left leg off the floor. So the legs are off the floor, go to your right. Try to keep those elbows down, shoulders down, hands down. Come back, place the feet on the floor, take the left leg and place the thigh over the thigh and take the legs off the floor and then go to your left, go to your right. Try to keep those elbows down, shoulders down. Come back center, hug your knees in, roll yourself up, straighten your legs out. Sit as tall as you can, pulling the toes towards, heels away. Reach the hands, tuck the chin, slowly curl down, reaching for your legs or your feet and pull on the legs or the feet. Send the tailbone away, pull the abdominals deep and breathe. And release. Okay, so if you just roll around on two hands and knees, and we'll take hands under shoulders, knees under hips, pull the abdominals in. And we're going to look up, send the tailbone away, inhale, arch the spine, tuck the tailbone under, scoop the belly around the back, open the shoulders, and breathe. In breath away. And exhale, tuck. And in breath away. And exhale, tuck. And in breath away to the arch. And then tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly around the back, open the shoulders. And then come back to neutral spine. Bring the hands forwards on the mat, tuck the toes, now lift the hips to down dog. Pull the belly in and pedal the heels up and down. Push the floor away. Stretch the mat sideways to open the shoulders. Breathe. Walk the hands now to the feet. Keep that core nice and strong. If you can, you're going to just try and just fold it down there, hands either floor or fingertips to elbows or around the legs, whatever feels good. Keep the belly strong. Now roll it up from your lower back, your middle spine, to your upper back, shoulders, neck, until head's the last thing and you're coming up. All right, so standing with your feet hip distance, reaching up with your right arm, take an in breath, left hand down the leg, take a side bend, breathe, and then reach up, and then a side bend, and then release. Take the hands behind, interlace your fingers, okay? So stretch, chest and shoulders. Working those arms away from your body, turn your head to one side, Stretch the neck and the other side. And then bring the chin towards the chest, roll round to one shoulder, and then roll round towards the other shoulder. And then release those arms. Take one arm up, your tricep stretch, so take the hand just above the elbow. Draw that hand down between the shoulder blades if you can. Change. And then release. And as we did at the beginning, just take it into a twist, but this time, just not quite as vigorous. And just gradually let the hands kind of tap against the body. And as your heart rate's coming down. And then we're shaking it out, kicking it out, and we're finishing there. All right, that is it.